guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, All Motor Rob. I got the head on right now. I'm doing, uh, I'm claying it, so that way I can see what my clearance is with the uh, with the new cams. I'm not doing a how-to on this right here. This is critical work, and I myself am no expert, and I'm not trying to tell anyone else to go follow what I do. Um, so I just want to be clear about that. This is just an update video. I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. And I don't want to be responsible. All right, so what I got here is the B16 head on, and this is I don't know if you guys can see that it's a 91 head. It is a PR3-2. So this is a JDM uh, B16 out of a CRX. I went ahead and locked VTEC over here on this on this er, cylinder one on the exhaust side. Um, and I locked it on the intake side as well. And what I did is there's the, the pin that goes across from pressure. Since I don't have the air pressure hose that you can connect to this to lock the VTEC in with like 60 PSI or whatever it is, was I just took, uh, I, I don't know what these are actually called, but these rods that hold the uh, actual, uh, the rockers in, in place. Um, I did have to take that out there's a big old bolt back there or a nut I should say it's like a female and um, I had to unscrew those two sides and then there's one right let me move this here out of the way and then there's one right here and there's not one up in here okay so um, you got to use it is a 14 millimeter bolt that you can just put in there and you thread it in and then you can pull the entire shaft out either way um, but these here uh, end caps have to come off before you can do that so anyway so I locked VTEC in and how I did that was I took the VTEC pin out of this here rocker and I ran a brass nut on there let me see if I got an example one or another one here. I used a brass nut in, as a filler just to make up a little bit of space so that way we can run that there um, VTEC pin, locking pin all the way across. Um, you don't have to do that. I'm not locking VTEC permanently. Uh, I'm just doing this so that way I can test um, this here clay. Now they do sell the VTEC pins for this, this purpose or if you want to lock your VTEC out completely, if you're like, um, if you want to hear that, that aggressive like cam lope. Uh, you can lock your VTEC out, and um, they do sell the, the pins for that, but they're like, I think, 100 bucks or something. And uh, for me only doing this one time, I just used that little nut to act as a spacer. And uh, when I take this apart, I'll probably show you guys, but uh, I'm not sure if I actually will yet. So I got my timing set, and I already started rotating the crank. That's why the cam gears look off a little bit. But I already started rotating already. Everything was lined up. It took two seconds to get the timing belt on and to um, set that up. So I'm going to rotate it over 360 degrees. And then I'll take uh, the head back off, inspect the clay, and go from there. All right, so I went ahead and took the head off. I got it sitting right here. And all, these are all the parts. So I just took a look at the, uh, the valves. The valves look good. And we got, it looks like, plenty of space here on the clay. Alright, so now that I have that bit of data, I'm going to mark this here, I'm going to put an E on it, that way I know it's the exhaust side, and I'm going to put an I on this one for intake. So I'm going to take these pieces off, save them, that way I can compare it with some data on the cam card, and I'm going to put more clay on here and I'm going to retest it. Just running those down, nothing too crazy.
I'm just running them down snug. This has an auto stop once it detects any type of tightness. All right, it's got the timing belt on. Everything is nice and tight. So, just gonna go ahead and rotate the crank here. Just wanna remove this here. So you guys, this time, I'm going to use this torque wrench on the head studs. This is the, uh, the locking pin for the VTEC that works through oil pressure. And it, it essentially locks all three of these as one. So that way you run off the VTEC cam loop. So I'm just gonna put that back in there and set this down. Don't lose it, don't, don't drop it. This is the one that I added that little nut to. Pull that out like that. And you see how that nut just came out of there? Now I'm using, this is brass. So I don't damage anything, but I just put the nut in that little hole and then drop the pin in. So. That's how I locked the VTEC. So we're not using this anymore. So I'm just gonna assemble everything back to OEM on both sides. All right, so I got my uh, inspection camera hooked up and I got it going down into um, one of the chambers into cylinder one and just gonna try to see what everything is looking like in there. And I've got, I'm trying to set this up so you guys can see as well. All right, so this hole right here, that's where the spark plug goes. And now you can see the top of the piston. All right guys, we're at day two. And right now I'm just um, checking the valves. Uh, I'm gonna do an adjustment if need be. So far I already checked, uh, I checked cylinder one, three. Now I'm on cylinder four. Um, these, these two right here were good. And uh, now I'm gonna see what number four is at.
this one here is a little loose, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust that real quick. Almost there. This is the stuff you guys got to be really patient on. All right, guys, so I got everything assembled. There's a few small things I still need to do. Um, this is just a temporary thing. I just got the two bolts holding it on for now. I still gotta do my coolant lines and stuff like that. I gotta put the water neck on back here. Uh, flywheel's gotta go back on. What else? Uh, I think that's probably about it for right now got the spark plugs in oil filters on everything's on everything's tight timing belt is good So yeah guys, she's looking good, looking good. So hopefully this weekend everything will go good and um, we can go ahead and drop the thing down up in here and hopefully fire it up this weekend. That would be great. So next time you guys tune in, it will probably be a video uh, of dropping the motor in and firing it up for the first time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. I will see you guys in the next one.